Hey guys, Sonny here from Ace Audio Reviews. How you doing today? Uh, just another quick video that I'm going to be doing. Uh, it's been a while, but I'm trying to get back into the game here a little bit. So if you guys can subscribe and hit the like button, that would be fantastic. Okay, let's get started here. We are going to do the Klipsch RP-160Ms. They are a little older speaker, but I just got them a few months ago. And the reason I got them is because they're worth getting. And you can find them everywhere for a pretty decent price. So here we go. We've got the one inch titanium tweeter with a Tractrix horn waveguide. Got a six inch copper driver. The cabinet is actually really nice. Really solid. A nice ebony black finish. And the front is really nice. A really nice baffle up front. It's actually really gorgeous. They do come with magnetic grills. They just snap right on, but I keep them off. They're too pretty to cover up. And we do have the nice port in the back. It's actually really deep. And it really does help with the base a lot. And we do have the by binding post. By amp or by wire. These stands I have, they're from Rockville. They're actually really nice stands. I mean, you can go out and spend a lot of money on stands, $200, $300, but I think I paid $69 for these. And they're made out of nice wood. They're easy to put together. And they're actually really solid because they are fillable. So I did fill them up with sand. You can use lead shot, but I think sand is a lot safer. But they're really nice. Now the speakers, they're around 16 inches high, 9 inches wide, and almost about like 13 inches deep. It's a pretty big bookshelf. <sighs> Sorry about the dust. Now these speakers did come with bases on the bottom. I took those off. I didn't like how they were angling up towards me. So, and they just didn't look pretty that way. I took them off, four screws, they come off. And then I put little gold feet underneath. And if you can see, there's like little, there's uh, sticky tack. They're sticky tack down. I sticky tack them down to the sand filled stands. And then also sticky tack them to the speaker. So then we got, we have a nice solid, nice solid speaker. It's not going anywhere. It's planted down there with the spikes. So, it's perfect. And obviously, got another one. So, we're going to get to the sound demos. We'll play some music through here. And we'll be back in a second. I did want to mention that they are 8 ohms. The sensitivity is 96 dB. Don't get much better than that. I can drive these with a, a little 5 watt amplifier if I had to. I use my Yamaha 95 watt per channel amplifier. These guys do handle 100 watts continuous. Continuous. That's a lot of power. 400 watts peak. So they're so efficient. They can just, they can just rock all day. They are 8 ohms. So, let's get to the demo. Okay, guys. These are going to be playing in full range. No subs. The receiver is on pure direct. So, it's just bypassing all the, the junk. Everything's going to be running flat.
Okay, guys, that's it. As you can see, I was playing that pretty loud, and they were rocking. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll have another review soon with the home theater set up. Center, rears, and the subs playing Dolby Atmos. Um, again, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. It'll help me out a great deal. Thank you so much.